Good morning everyone. Myself, Dr. Vishwaraj Lal, Faculty of Biotechnology, Jamshedpur Women's College, Jamshedpur. Today we will discuss about artificial seeds. Introductions. In this we will discuss about introductions, definition, history, methods for making artificial seeds, diagrams and importance of artificial seeds. So we are going to start introductions. In nature, true seeds are the product of fertilized ovules consisting of a zygotic embryo cells of which are deployed enclosed by protective coat or coats developed from integument or integuments in a seed the zygotic embryo is a very important structure and it grows into seedling by seed germination now, the concepts of artificial seed has been developed from somatic embryos which are formed advantageously from in vitro cultured somatic tissues, mean deployed cells. Somatic embryos are identical with zygotic embryos, give rise to plants only under aseptic conditions. Somatic embryos are not enclosed by seed coats and due to microbial contaminations and desiccations they are not able to survive if these are sown directly into field soil. So tissue culturists try to develop a technique by which isolated somatic embryos could be encapsulated by a protective gel like substance so that embryos are able to survive and would not desiccate even after planting into soil. Such encapsulated embryos could be used as artificial seeds. Next come to our definitions of artificial seeds. Artificial seeds are the living seed like structures are made experimentally by a technique where somatic embryos derived from plant tissue culture are encapsulated by a hydrogel and such encapsulated embryos behave like seed if grown in soil and can be used as a substitute of natural seeds. Next history Keto and Genic 1982 Keto and Genic 1982 first coated clumps of carrot embryos with polyagenthin to develop artificial seeds. Next, Redenbank et al. 1984 and 1986. They discovered that hydrogels such as sodium alginate could be used to produce single embryos artificial seeds. Next, Lawrence et al. Lawrence et al subsequently began to use sodium alginate for encapsulated carrot somatic embryos. In this, they are successfully successful in obtaining germinations of encapsulated carrot somatic embryos in vermiculite in a growth chamber. Since then, on the basis of such report, research work begins to exploit this technique for other plant species and to improve the encapsulation process. Next we come to a method for making artificial seeds. There are several steps are following for making artificial seeds. First we have to establishment of callus culture. Next induction of somatic embryogenesis. After that maturation of somatic embryos. After that encapsulation of somatic embryos. Next test for embryo to plant conservations and lastly greenhouse and field planting so by this we will understand how artificial seeds are made first we make a callus tissues first we establish of callus tissue culture in artificial media this inductions of somatic embryogenesis, maturations of somatic embryos, then isolated somatic embryos are mixed with 
0.5 to 5% sodium alginate and dropped into 30 to 100 microam calcium nitrate solutions. Surface complexions begins immediately and the drops are gelled completely within 30 minutes. After encapsulations, the artificial seeds are tested by two steps. First, test for embryos to plant conservation and germination. Second, beads on vermiculites, germinations and then planting in pots and transfer to a field plantations. This all, this all I have to done in greenhouse trials. Next, importance of artificial seeds. First, true seeds are produced in plant at the end of reproductive phase by the process of complex sexual reproduction. So, we have to wait up to the end of reproductive phase of a plant for getting seeds but artificial seeds are available within at least one month nobody has to wait for a long time second at any time or seasons one may get the artificial seeds of a plant third artificial seeds helps to study the role of endosperms and seed coat formations and lastly Artificial seeds will be applicable for large scale mon monocultures as well as mixed genotype of plantations. So, this is the overall artificial seeds. How we produce, definitions, history, methods and what are the importance of artificial seeds. Thank you.